There are two main methods of interfacing with AutoCAD, the mouse and the keyboard. Many users will use the mouse almost exclusively, using the keyboard only when it's unavoidable. For example, typing in notes, file names, numbers, etc. However, the key to efficiency in AutoCAD is to take advantage of as many tools as you possibly can. That includes the keyboard. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see a gray area or line in it starting with the word command. That's down here. This is the command line. Here you can type in any command into AutoCAD. In these videos, I will often say type on the command line. When I say that, this is where you type. You can see that when I move the mouse to the command line, there's a slightly visible blinking cursor. If not, you can left click inside this gray area to activate it. And then you can just start typing. As you see, words start popping up. To cancel out of that, press the escape key. So not only can you execute commands through the command line, but AutoCAD will also give you feedback through the command line in the form of command options or further instructions. Many commands will have options to them, but not all of them. And those options will appear on the command line. For example, if the circle command is started, you can type in the word circle. Press enter or return. You can see that there are instructions for you on the command line here. Many commands are like this. Press escape again. Now I will type in the command circle one more time. This time I will make sure that dynamic input is turned on. You can come down below the command line and this is called the status bar. A lot of these buttons here will toggle different features off and on. The one I'm looking for is called dynamic input and that's right here. If it's blue color, that means it's turned on. If I click it, it goes gray, that means it's turned off. So all of these that are blue are turned on, the gray ones are turned off. Dynamic input gives you an extra command line that's right by your crosshairs. If I start to type in the command circle, you can see that it starts to appear up above, right where my crosshairs are, not on the command line. This is nice because it allows you to keep looking at what you're doing while you're working. So if I press enter, it gives me more information. It gives you a little bit of what's in the command line and a little bit more. It shows the coordinates where I'm at, where I'm going to start the center point of my circle. So if I left click somewhere, and now I need to put in the radius. Now that dynamic input will allow me to just type in the radius right there, or I can just click again. So we have two forms of the command line. One is the command line itself. The other is called the dynamic input tool. It's a visual aid intended to help you in your drafting efficiency. It puts the command line at the crosshairs so you don't have to keep moving your eyes from one place to another. It prevents headaches too if you can just keep looking at the same spot. If you are a good typist, you can type circle without moving your eyes from your crosshairs. It might not sound like much to be quite honest, but if you execute hundreds of commands, if not thousands, a day, that adds up to seconds upon seconds, which adds up to minutes saved. It does make things a bit more efficient. Of course, while you're working, you can work in any way you want. You can turn the dynamic input off if you like, just as I showed you. A lot of people will turn that off because they feel it just gets in the way of their drawing area. That's okay too. Me personally, I love it, and so I use it on. But you can work in any way that you'd like. Another way to enter commands on the command line is through keyboard shortcuts. All commands can be executed by typing on the command line, but most commands have a keyboard shortcut. For example, circle, like we saw before. You can type out the word circle completely like that, or you can just type in the letter C, and it will do a circle. Another feature in AutoCAD is that when you start typing in commands, it populates a list of what it thinks you might be talking about. For example, it puts these in alphabetic order, and then eventually, once you keep working with it, it knows the tools or the commands that you use more often, and so it will start populating those. If I type in the command, the more I type in, the shorter the list gets. So if you don't know the exact command, then you can just type in a little bit, and it'll give it to you, and you can pick any of these commands just by left-clicking with the mouse. And again, you get your instructions on the command line, and it starts all over again. So remember, you can type out the full command or you can just type in the shortcut. This is key to efficiency in AutoCAD that many users don't realize. When you use AutoCAD, use both hands, one on the keyboard and one on the mouse. Use the shortcuts in the command line while you position your mouse. It's more efficient than just using your mouse. I'll show you. 
I can come over here to my toolbars, left click on the ones that I want to use, drafting, annotation, modeling. In this case, I want to create a circle, so I'm going to the drafting option. And then I find the circle command. Here's the circle command. And if I click on it, it will start the circle command. Now, a lot of users prefer using a toolbar like this, and that's fine. And I draw my circle. So let's show you one more time. Come over here, I find it. Here's the circle. I come back over here, click, draw the circle. That didn't seem so bad, right? But what if I'm in a different toolbar where I don't have access to the circle command? I have to come back here, go to drafting, wait for it to populate, find the circle, start it, then I draw my circle. Or if I am in a different tab, maybe I was doing some dimensioning and I said, oh, you know what? I need to draw a circle here. I don't have to stop, move over, click, drafting, circle. See, that was about three extra clicks. Or I can just hit the letter C, press enter, and go. Hit the letter C, enter. See, it's much more efficient when you know the commands to use it that way. Now, whichever way you are more comfortable with, that is the way you should work. Now, when you're first learning AutoCAD, nothing is familiar to you. You don't know all of the keyboard shortcuts. That's okay. You will learn them just by using them. Type it in on the command line and you will learn to figure them out. Here's a hint. Typically, there are one to two letters and they usually start with the first letter of the command, like L for line. In the command line, when it populates this list, if it's a keyboard shortcut, it'll have the shortcut first and then in parentheses show you what the command actually is. LA will open up your layer manager. And remember to get out of anything, just press the escape key. Now another thing you can do is use your arrow keys. If you've been working, you've done several different commands, just press up on the up arrow and it will go up through the last set of commands that you've used. As you can see, these are some that I've used. When you find the one that you want, Press enter and it's just like typing it in. So if you're doing a couple of things like dimensioning or drawing a line over and over again, you can use that to quickly get to your commands. So the real key to AutoCAD efficiency is doing less work. The less you have to do, the quicker you can get it done.